The Oscars' so white backlash is not going away. Pressure is now mounting for host Chris Rock to step down as more stars speak out on the issue. As the stars of Spotlight hit the red carpet for the London premiere of their film, the Oscars were on their minds. But not because their movie is up for six awards and considered a frontrunner for Best Picture. Instead, they were speaking out on the lack of diversity among Oscar nominees for the second year in a row. An issue that's dominating conversation as stars begin to boycott Hollywood's biggest night. There is a gap between, uh, you know, black and white uh, nominees. And and it's happened a long time. It's, it's also a reflective of our culture in America. Um, there's, a, there's a white privilege that's, that, that prevails. Ruffalo is the latest star to speak out after George Clooney, Lupita Nyong'o, and Jada Pinkett Smith, among others. At the same time, Chris Rock is facing increasing pressure to step down as host of the Oscars. Chris Rock should definitely step down and get out of there. Make a statement. That's how, that's how you affect change. No response from Rock so far. The Oscars will be handed out February 28th. You look like a clone, but you are not a clone. I am a clone! Zach Galifianakis is a failed and clueless clown named Chip in the new FX series, Baskets. As you know, I was at the show's premiere party in L.A. last week, but I also caught up with the cast for a more in-depth chat about the laugh-out-loud, smart, and awkwardly hilarious show, which is co-produced by the brilliant Louis C.K. So a clown with a chip on his shoulder, is that a collaborative idea, or was that you just bringing that... To, to Louis. I, I knew I wanted to play somebody kind of angry and bitter. One day, a rodeo clown just popped in my head. It just was an aha moment and uh, marry that with some pretentiousness of being trained in, uh, at a European clown college. And then there's Louis Anderson, who plays Chip's mother. You said it was one of the, it was the most difficult jobs that you've done, but the most rewarding. Just the idea that I was able to become someone else, become a character that's real and I tried to and make, a woman and a woman and yeah. made her alive catch the series premiere of baskets tonight on FX Mad Dogs is about to take you on a frightening holiday. The brand new series sees four guys head to Belize for a relaxing vacation with a friend, but then find themselves in a nightmare. Entertainment City caught up with the stars at last night's LA premiere. Pushes the you know the boundaries of drama and comedy and like the you know Hangover meets Lord of the Flies. You get four guys together in their midlife crisis in their 40s, yet in this completely absurd environment. But the the thrust of the show still is about the relationship of the four of them. Mad Dogs is coming exclusively to show me next month. And this really is a great venue for an anniversary. British screen legends Charlotte Rampling and Tom Courtenay play Kate and Jeff, a couple approaching their 45th wedding anniversary in 45 years. But as Kate plans a party, a letter arrives for Jeff saying the body of his first love has been discovered in the Swiss Alps, where she fell during a hiking trip with him 50 years ago. We never talked about it. We've known each other. The nuanced portrait of long-term love and marriage has earned Rampling an Oscar nomination for Best Actress and plenty of praise for both stars. To me, it was so compelling. I mean, to have such a part at my age, you know, I'm in the middle of a love, tri <laughs> of a love triangle. So one of them's been dead for 50 years, but, you know, it's extraordinary. 45 Years hits select theaters Friday. And remember to get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.